Hi, my name is Katie and I'm a GP. I am here to talk to you about what my role entails when it comes to the motherhood journey. It's a wonderful journey and it's the right thing to have the right support and know what to do, when to do it and who to go to. So as a GP, we are actually there for you from the beginning to the end of the whole journey, starting from preconception, when you get pregnant, during your pregnancy and also after the, the baby is born. Now, during the pregnancy, the midwife does take the majority of the role and the obstetrics and gynecology doctors and team. But as a GP, starting from the beginning, when you're thinking of getting pregnant, it's a good thing to actually speak to your GP about it. One of the reasons is because that you may have some medical conditions or you may have some questions or some worries that we need to talk about. Since you may have a heart condition, a breathing condition that may need us to tweak some medications maybe or to start or stop some. So do speak to your GP beforehand while you're thinking of getting pregnant. When you do get pregnant and you have that wonderful pregnancy positive test, it's a good thing to let us know, just because we need to update the records. For example, if later on something happens and you need to speak to your GP, we can immediately see that, yes, you're pregnant and therefore there's certain medications or certain things that we wouldn't do um, if you wasn't pregnant. Now, when you're pregnant, we and, and there's no medical any medical problems or you don't have any history of anything or not in medications then the next advice is to actually go to the hospital that you prefer and let the midwives know and they will take you out from there with different blood tests urine samples and checks and so forth what role do we play well is to make sure that you're being monitored throughout that process, throughout that growth of yourself and the baby. So for example, we can do some blood tests if maybe you're feeling more tired than usual and you're lacking some iron, but a midwife will usually would have picked that up before. Other things could be like, for example, nausea and vomiting, which is very common in pregnancy, but there is a limit and we do need to let you know and be aware of the signs to look out for, for things like hyperismesis as well where you're vomiting more than you vomit more than the one-off that may happen when you're pregnant nausea is more common more manageable but vomiting is something that we do we do want to treat and can avoid because there's the risk of dehydration so please do let your um, gp know because we can manage there are some medications to avoid feeling that way they're very safe in pregnancy also your mental health how's your mental health during this pr process are you feeling happy are you feeling sad are you scared you know do you have any questions about it whether it's your first or your fifth <laughs> you know we are there for that and that's something that i really want people to know that your gp is not just for a medical problem that needs treatment but it's also to have that person to confide it confide in to have that person to speak to and open up about things we are there to also manage your emotional and mental health and after the baby is born and you do come home we always have a six weeks check in some places eight weeks but it's usually six weeks check where we check on the baby we examine the baby the same way that um, the pediatric doctor would have examined your child before you left the hospital. And if there's anything that we pick up, we'll inform you, mum, and we will also inform the relevant department to do other investigations if needed. Other things that we do and we must do is to check on the mum because you've gone through a lot and I'm a mum myself. So I know it was very important for someone to check on me and see how I was doing. So. You, that's your chance to ask different questions. You know, if you are on medication in hospital, that's the time that us GPs will now review them and decide with you, do we need to continue? Do we need to change? Do we need to monitor things like your blood pressure, things like your sugar levels, you know, and also again, your mental health. How do you feel? Do you have a support? And as a GP, we are also the people that will signpost you to the local services. So there it goes. This is our role as GPs. This is what I do on a regular basis as well. I love interacting with mothers and I understand how important it is to have the right information so you know what to do and how to also vouch for yourself, how to also speak out and speak up regarding the different things that you're going through. 
also as a black woman, I, I'm very, very aware of who I'm speaking to and where they come from. And if I don't, I ask. I ask and I want to find out how else will I be able to best manage you if I don't know you. So my passion really and truly is to create that bridge between the community and the healthcare system because together having that information is where the power comes from and it's our role to make things easier for you and for you to support us as well. I hope this was very helpful. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.